and welcome back to another one of my cryptocurrency update videos. I hope you're all doing good on this fine Thursday. Um, looking at Trias today. Oh, Trias! It kind of just is one of those coins at the moment that is just making me get bored. It's so boring at the moment. It's just sideways moving, doing nothing. But let's dive in and see what we can unfold with this chart. So I said that we cannot afford to lose three dollars. We haven't done that yet. It's very, very good. We could be forming some sort of double bottom structure here, quite an ugly one, but if we go like that and like that, looks right to me. But obviously we need to see how that plays out. We've got our neckline here at $3.55 until we've broken that. This is not a W pattern, it's invalidated until validated basically, until we break this neckline. Could be a sort of a sending triangle as well, it's quite ugly, so I'm just theoretically saying this. Obviously we don't know anything until... Oh, We've broken above that price there. That will do for now. You know, I'm just looking. Let's get a target for that just to make us slightly happy <laughs> for those of us in Trias. So we have got a breakout target there, $4.21, which hopefully is going to break us, push us up and give us enough momentum to break out of this falling wedge now, guys. We've been in it for, God, don't know how long. Let's see. When did we actually come into this? 29th of October last year and we've been in this for months now so we're due a breakout right we're due that just taking it sweet sweet time so don't give up hope just yet let's zoom back in unfortunately which isn't great for me to see is we're under the 20 moving average still and we're still respecting it as resistance we really need that to flip over so we can use that as support now so then we can make our way to the 55 moving average at least we'll be higher than where we are now if this is a bottoming out structure, just theoretically, let's do a top to bottom fib. So for me, for me to be bullish right now, we need to be getting above the five fib level, $3.91. Then I'll be confident that we're going to be getting above the 618. And usually I say the 618 is the one I want to get, but I'm saying the five now because it's where we have this very key red line, this support and resistance level on the chart. Okay, so when we're above that, I can then believe, okay, we will hit the 0618 and then we'll hit the one at $5 and then we'll hit the 1618 at $7. Yeah, that's when I'll start getting confident. Obviously, the 618 is very, very important. And I will just actually make a box where between this golden pocket right now. There we go. So we know now that this area here is our golden pocket, the golden ratio, where we need to get in and above to continue bullish. So that's really, really important. I'll probably title this video like must get above $3.91 or must get above the golden pocket to confirm bullish or something like that because that is my genuine thoughts right now. I can't say much, but I've given you levels and prices to look out for. We can dive onto the four hour time frame just to have a look, see what's going on short term. So you can see here, very boring, very sideways movements at the moment, guys. There's not much going on, you know, we're going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So until we can find that support which we are finding that support we are in a small uptrend if you can see this high this low is higher than this low down here higher higher than this low is higher than this low sorry god i can't get my words out today so you know it's not look i can actually move that up. we've got a neckline more of there rather than down but yeah so we're sideways moving with a slight uptrend still finding strong resistance on um the, these moving averages here we need, really need to be getting above those especially on the four hour time frame because that's going to give us the momentum to get above our breakout line here three dollars 62 that is when we know okay we're now validating our target getting into that golden pocket and above and we're good to go so as long as we don't lose these levels if we lose these levels we are going down and i can give if that happens god forbid but if it does happen i'll give you the targets then we're trying to be positive now just stay positive guys it's going to be worth it in the end no one said it would be easy, that's for sure. And if they did tell you it would be easy, they were 100% lying. So don't trust these bitches. Anyway, don't know what's wrong with me today. But yeah, we're looking... Mm, so I can add a fib. I'm going to go from here to here now. I just want to see a smaller time frame fib. And look at that, yeah. So again, 618 line up with our breakout target. Another key level for the short term to get above is $3.57. That's then going to take us to the one above this very, very key support resistance level here. Into, that will take us into our golden ratio. Finally, the 1618, $4.49. Sorry, $4.74. So that's all right. We've got some prices there. Obviously, we've found some resistance on the five, but there's only a couple of wicks. We really need to test it a few times and hopefully bust through that soon. 
but yeah, that's it for Trieste today guys I hope you enjoyed the video um like and comment down below definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one guys bye